One thing at a time. One thing at a time. One thing at a time, Muhammad Zawad. Raise your hand on the air. At the same time, draw number six with your right hand and number eight with your left hand. Let's the start. <laughs> it is confusing, isn't it? Yes. This is exactly what happened. If you try and use your mobile, you cannot do two things at a time. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmaster, and anyone believe he cannot do two things at a time. After listening to my speech today, you will be able to identify why driving and using a mobile is dangerous for the driver, passenger, and others on the road. Sunday, June 28th, was a hot summer day with a temperature already 45.5 degrees Celsius by 11.15. If you had been driving along a crowd on the Haram Jubail Highway, you have witnessed two incidents demonstrating my point. The first incident happened. <coughs> Nawab is a handsome, romantic, and attractive guy. Attractive Saudi guy. Reminds me of a Tom Cruise. <laughs> While Nawab is driving his car, his mobile ring. How you doing, sweetie? Miss you a lot. I'm on my way to the site to meet the contractor. I will be back probably by 5.15. I'll bring it tonight to the roading car. Oh my god, the police officer is following me. I'll call him back, I'll call him back. Bye bye, bye bye. Do you realize you were speeding? and changing lane without identifying, you could cause a major accident and kill somebody. Okay. Was I, officer? Yes, I have been following you for the best five minutes. You should pay more attention to your driving. Give me your driver license. But, 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 officer, I will not repeat it again. We are not in a kindergarten. We are on the highway. Watch out, idiot! <laughs> but, 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 I'm due for a promotion after tomorrow. And if I will get these two tickets while I'm driving a Ramco car, my manager will stop it. I don't care. I believe issuing you those two tickets may save your life and the others on the highway. But, 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 officer, officer, please. There is no need for Noah to answer a mobile call while he is driving. He would not have changed his lane frequently or exceeded the speed limit. He could get his promotion this year and avoid a tense and heated meeting with his manager. The second incident happened to Abunov. Abunov is a typical Saudi Aramco employee who is stressed, frustrated, and bankrupt. <laughs> While Abunov is driving his car, <laughs> don't worry, it's your mother. <laughs> Hello, Abunov. I'm going with your daughter to bring her wedding dress. I know she is the only daughter that we have. But I told you 1,001 time that I don't have money right now. Wait until the stock market gets up. I haven't had a good day with you for the best of 23 years. I don't know why I didn't get married to the second wife yet. Watch out, father, watch out. Are you okay, Nov? Are you okay? Please talk to your father, honey. Are you okay, no? No, please talk to your father. I will buy whatever you want. Just talk to your father, no. Please talk to your father. I will buy whatever you want. Just talk to your father, no, please. Please talk to your father. There is no need for
for Abuna. To answer his, his mobile while he's driving, he would not have increased his stress or slowed his reaction time. He could save his precious daughter and enjoy the rest of his life playing with her future kids. Do you realize why driving and using a mobile is a dangerous? Nawaf would not fail to maintain his lane position and consistent speed. Abu Nawf would not increase his stress and slow his reaction time. You don't need to have a tragic event to learn to stop using a mobile while driving. After one hour, you will go back to your car. And here is the thing that I want you to do when you get behind your steering wheel. Remember that you cannot do two things at a time. Back to you.